Alrighty, welcome back. We are jumping into the next version of the P2P client and server. We are going to, it's going to be very similar to the last version, but it's also, go, also going to be very different. We're going to use the binary reader and writer to write messages back and forth from our server to our client or to our clients and back and, and back from the clients to the server so we can relay position location and uh, just general things this is not going to be a high def 3d kind of application we're using windows graphics so our characters our game players will be circles uh, ellipses that are filled and that's pretty much it the two forms we're going to add let's just start off with that going to add form G's G server versus form uh, server and then form G client this will give us a method to speed things up or uh, uh, communicate <laughs> faster than using all the parsing in the ASCII encoding uh, that's my scratch project so I am going to on both of these they're once again going to be very similar just not exactly the same jump to the toolbox going to add tab control so I will be able to just copy and paste this from the server to the client give it some name and make the doc equal to fill first tab will be server uh, the first tabs name will be server I thought you can click on those but you can't there they are so yes yeah, server and game our game is isn't going to be that much but that's okay the size of the form I don't know why it is doing that it's just keeping this loaded and trying to put a million tab controls on my page okay hold on I didn't click on anything come on Microsoft get with it okay we'll make the form 800 by 800 both forms will be 800 by 800 and they're going to have pretty much the same control they're, they're going to have the exact same controls but the client will have a login control we're going to add that to the client in a moment well we're on the client right now hold on so i'm jumping over to the server real fast I'm making it 800 by 800 we should work with the server instead of the client. So I'm just going to cut and paste that over to the server. And thumbnail these so I know what order they're in. Okay. So we are going to add a label control, a text box, and a button. And just like before, I mean, the layout for the server is identical to before. So you can just skip ahead if you want to. Copy all that stuff over. So. Now we'll copy these and paste these into all of our other controls. Uh, let's see here. Let's go ahead and copy our listen button. Okay. 
So since I'm kind of advertising this one different than the last one, I thought I should just start over again fresh. I'm sure for some people that really is annoying. Sorry about that. Make my labels a little bit bigger. Okay. Come over here for our server. We're going to do no code in this video. Yeah, that would be big enough. Scroll bars, vertical. Okay, so I'm going to, well, where'd my label go? <laughs> That's hilarious, Microsoft. Uh, where'd you put my label? That was funny. And the port's still there. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste the label. And just like before, we're going to put all of our servers, list all of our servers. And let's see, send system. I'm going to give my server a kind of chat area before I had everything squashed over here to the side. Well, then why'd you do that, Microsoft? And... No text. TB system. TB send. We're literally almost there. Not a big deal. And received. TB received. I'm missing anything. I'm missing the send button. That's it. Okay, so just select the tab control, copy it, paste it into the client form really fast. And we also need to add the username. We're going to have we're going to have five built-in users, but You know, you can get into all the login stuff yourself. Our login is going to be pretty much fake. No password. If you're getting something out of this, please do subscribe. So I'm going to add two buttons here. Actually, login and users, because every user is going to have the list of the other users. And that way we can maybe do some identify stuff next time around. You know, mouse over. And that button will just list all the users in our received. <laughs> Put it pretty much where, wherever you want. And for our client port, we should have eight thousand again. 
I'm not going to worry about testing this on the other machine this time around. Need to get into that. Just jump over. I thought I named all these. TP IP TV servers and to get port. Fresh. TB system, TB send, TB received. Alrighty. TB certains. There we go. Alright, that should be it. Alright, if you got something out of this, please do like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. I'll probably be concatenated onto this video for YouTube and Odyssey. I'm also on Odyssey now. Actually, I wrote these videos for Odyssey. I said I wasn't going to do any more for a little while, but I wrote these uh, P2P videos for Odyssey. I included them with YouTube. I comically called the the project P2P YouTube. But um, so, if you prefer to watch me over there, it's over there. If you prefer to watch them over there, they're over there also. And God bless. See you in the next video.